Hello friends, welcome to my channel Daily Facts with UV. Our today's topic is how are lakes formed? Lakes are formed by many geological processes. Some lakes are formed long ago in hollow scrape out by ice. These filled with water as ice melted. Many of the world's great lakes were formed by glaciation. For example, seven Rila lakes in Rila, Bulgaria are glacial in origin. Some lakes are formed on the top of volcanoes. For example, the crater lake in US state of Orgeon. This lake was formed about 6850 years ago when a volcano eruption collapsed. Lakes are also formed by the bulking of stratified rock into large folds or by displacement of large masses of rock due to faults and breaking of valleys by landslides. The source of lake water is atmospheric precipitation that reaches the lake directly or by the means of springs, brooks and rivers. A lake may evaporate as the climate becomes more acid or it may fill up with sediments leaving above or swam in its place. Bits of fact, the world's deepest Lakes are formed by faults in the earth's crust, such as Lake Baikal in Siberia and Lake Tanganyika in East Africa. Our next topic is how does the air pressure affect weather? Air pressure is the constant bombardment of millions of air molecules as they zoom about. Air pressure varies constantly from place to place and from time to time as the sun's heat varies. Difference in air pressure is what causes winds. Air usually moves from an area of high pressure or anti-cyclone to the area of low pressure or depression. Depression are usually associated with bad weather conditions and rain. Barometer is a device to measure the changes in the air pressure. It also helps to forecast weather because change in air pressure is linked to weather conditions. A fall in air pressure warns that a stormy weather is ahead, whereas a steady high pressure indicates clear weather. Air pressure changes with altitude. When you move to a place of high altitude, say a tall mountain, air fewers and decreases because there are fewer air molecules up there. Air pressure is the greatest at the sea level because that is the bottom of the atmosphere. Bits of fact. Air pressure is measured by a barometer in units called millibars. Most barometers are used by mercury in a glass column like a thermometer to measure the change in atmospheric pressure. Normal pressure at the sea level is 1013 millibars but it can vary between 800 and 1000. Our next topic is how is air being polluted? Air pollution is the mostly caused by human activities. One of the main pollutants of air is the exhaust fumes from motor vehicles. A large amount of pollution is produced in factories, power stations and waste burners as well as in burning of coal, gas and oil in homes. This cause a large amount of damage to our health and environment. A farmer crop sprays farm from animals, mining and volcanic eruptions are the other factors which contribute to air pollution. The air pollution contains greenhouse gases which are thought to be contribute to global warming. It also causes substances such as sulfur and nitrogen oxides that can cause damage to our lungs. Life depends on earth, on the layer of ozone gas in the sun's ultraviolet rays. The air pollution is destroying the ozone layer. When the exhaust gases re react in the strong sunlight, they form toxic ozone layer. Bits of fact, it is believed that breathing air in Mexico City is as harmful as smoking 40 cigarettes every day. The Chinese city of Benzi is invisible to satellites due to its immense smoke produced by its factories. Thank you. Please like and subscribe my channel Daily Facts with UV for more such interesting videos.